Hey everybody, it's Joe and Lisa with Joe Lee Farms in Ecuador. Welcome back to the channel. So glad you joined us today. So today we want to talk to you about uh, a trip we made with the Vilcabamba Photography Club this week. Um, we went to uh, Imperial Park in Loja, and then we went to the zoo. And within the zoo, the reason we went to the zoo is we wanted to go to the Orchideria. Mm -hmm. These That's are both a... in Loja. So we've done zoo stuff here in Vilcabamba, but this is the zoo in Loja, which we have not been to before. Yeah. So today we're going to focus on orchids, mm -hmm. obviously by the name in our title. Um, so we're going to focus on the orchid. We want to show you a whole bunch of pretty pictures of the orchids and stuff. Yeah, if orchids aren't your deal, we understand. But I think you'll find it interesting anyway. Um, what a great place to visit. Uh, we'll follow up some future videos uh, about Hapiro Park. We've already done one really good video on that. Yeah. We may do another one, but we'll definitely do a different video on the zoo at a future date and uh, show you a bunch of neat pictures from the zoo. Um, some people don't like the idea of cage animals, but let me help you understand how, how the Loja Zoo operates. It is rescued animals. Oh. So uh, some of these animals can't be just turned back out into the wild just yet. So they do rescue these animals. I so. think that's the same with the Vilcabamba Zoo as well. Is they they have these rescued animals, and you can tell because some of them, um, especially in the birds, the birds look pretty beat up, um, and yeah. so they're healing them. And the Loja Zoo actually has like a veterinary space in there as so well. So does the Vilcabamba Zoo. Yeah, yeah, it's got one too. And yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, we're gonna get into these orchids here. So I don't know how many of you know that you know Ecuador is like the orchid capital of the world. It's um, one of them, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, and the reason why is that being on the equator, mm -hmm. uh, the growing conditions in the Amazon and in the mountains uh, is just huge. There's over 4,000 varieties of mm -hmm. orchids here in Ecuador, and hundreds of them are actually specific to Ecuador. Yeah, I think a lot of them, especially because of the rainforest and so forth, the Amazon, and a lot of them... I guess started there. So we've got a friend and he's got, uh, at Monte Sueños, he's got quite a few that he has that are um, native to the area and they're just, they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and the cool thing about Monte Sueños is he went up to the, to the, uh, the Podocarpus Park and then, you know, up out into the, the jungles, if you will, and dug his, all his orchids from there and brought them in. From, he has a family farm Mm -hmm. uh, this near the park, and that's where he got all his orchids. Yeah, he didn't go to the park to take them. He got yeah. them from the family farm. Not what you're supposed to do. You're don't go into the national no. park and take them. As a matter of fact, trouble. when you go to Podocarpus, they tell you, please don't take the plants. Yeah. I've got, I think, a little more orchids that we have collected over time. Um, I'd almost like to take some to the Podocarpus so they'd have a little bit more robust collection. Yeah, and some of our orchids have come from Zamora, you know, which is mm -hmm. down in the... Uh, Amazon, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's where a lot of ours came from. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're not what you would expect. I mean, even at the the Vilcabamba Zoo. Hey, Hi, buddy. big How guy. You doing? So this big giant bumblebee came giant to visit. Giant bumblebee. How you doing, buddy? See ya. <laughs> the, uh, at the low, or the Vilcabamba Zoo, they, they have some amazing orchids, and if you saw them in the wild, you would not just immediately go, hey, that that's an orchid. I mean, some of them are really, really different. Yeah, really special orchids. Mm -hmm. And so um, here in Ecuador, are some great places to visit. Um, right here in the Loja province, you can go to the Vilcabamba Zoo. Mm -hmm. They've got a great orchid area there. Mm -hmm. And man, that little guy in there, Manuelito, where he loves to tell you all about the orchids and uh, yeah. his special uh, shoe orchid. They call it Zapatos. Yeah, he's passionate about the orchids. The interesting thing to me is when you go to, we went looking for the orchids. Little did we know, we were told it's next to the zoo. It's actually in the zoo. So you get to take part in both the, the unique animals they have in the zoo as well as the orchids. And I think even in Loja, they actually have a, a whole plant space. And I think they actually sell some of those plants. Not yes. the orchids, just the plants. Yeah, you can't buy orchids either at the Loja Zoo or at the Vilcabamba Zoo. Yeah. Uh, but at the Loja Zoo, you can buy other types of plants. They got bunches of them out there for sale. 
And this is not a little thing. These people are super passionate about it. Um, at the Loja Zoo, they have all their ribbons and their awards on the wall, so you can see um, how well they're doing in the orchid space. Yeah, they won a lot of first place entries. So yeah. The other place here in Loja that's really good too is the Hardeen Botanical Espanito. Yeah, the Botanical Gardens. It. Yeah, the Botanical Gardens in Loja. We've done a video on that before. Um, we're gonna go back and shoot another video there and mm -hmm. more concentrate on the orchids, if you will. The best time for orchids here is usually February to June, but they really kind of bloom year round. They, they bloom off and on different times, and I think different species bloom different times. And Loja, he said come back May through October, that's his big time. And I think it's just the different varieties. Um, I've got some in bloom right now. I've had some in bloom last month. So on the equator, I, I can see how they get confused because the weather's pretty similar all the time. Now all these places we've mentioned so far, it's about a dollar entry fee to get in. And that includes everything there, mm -hmm. zoo and the orchidarium. Yeah. Um, so uh, up in Quito, they have a huge, um, uh, what's it called? The uh, botanical gardens, yeah. Yeah. And so they have a great big orchid uh, greenhouses up there and really nice to see that. We haven't been there yet, but we've seen yeah. some pictures of it. And then Cuenca has a huge orchidarium. Mm -hmm. or, um, and so again, I, I think the one in Quito is like $4 entry. I'm not sure about the one in Cuenca, how much that one cost. I don't know. I, I have to wonder, is it in the zoo? Because I hear the zoo there is pretty amazing as well, though you have to hike the mountain to go to the zoo, but yeah, pretty amazing. So um, also in Baños, um, sure. really good orchids there. And uh, there's, there's quite a few on the coast, in the coastal areas, mm -hmm. um, but I think we have probably more varieties up here in the mountains. And I will say, the, the different orchid areas, so the, the Vilcabamba Zoo is pretty simplistic compared to what the Loja Zoo is, where they maintain their orchids. Um, it's almost like in a partially underground bunker really where they cool. can really control the humidity and the temperature in there. And, and it's not just a bunch of plants. I mean, they have water features and even the botanical gardens. I mean, to go when it's not even blooming is still absolutely gorgeous to go and visit because the the structures and the um, little water features and so forth in the bridges, they're just, they've done a marvelous job. All right, well, without further ado, we're just gonna get right into the pictures here and let you take a look at those and leave us a comment, tell us what you think about the orchids and uh, we'll see if you're interested in us doing some more videos like that. There we go. All right, ciao for now.